Welcome to Bias Fire Garage. We've got a 1948 Bedford. Been sitting for around 15 to 20 years. We're going to see if we can get it running. Uh, we've got the truck back here at home now. Um, it's a 1948 Bedford. Uh, six cylinder. So we're just going to stick a battery in it. We've uh, made up a uh, vice grip battery clamp. Thanks to Vice Grip Garage. Thank you very much for that one. And uh, we're going to try and uh, wind this engine over and just see if we can get some life out of it. Turns over. Let's have a look at the, uh, the point. You see. You guys can see that on the camera. There's a lot of carbon build up on these. Um, rotor button. Yeah. We could clean it up. You'll be right. I'll just put that battery back on and we'll see if we get any spark on our points. If you can see that, there's a teeny tiny little spark just down there on those points. You have spark, you give them a clean, and then uh, maybe put some petrol, and uh, fire started down that carburetor and see if we can make it pop off. Okay, got some sandpaper, rotor button. Uh, what have we got here? We got 120, no sorry, 1200. So quite fine. Gonna clean the end of the uh, rotor button here. Just so we get good spark. Nice and shiny. Go ahead and clean those points up. Points are all done. Um, clean up the distributor cap, rotor button, 
I went ahead and put some fuel down there. Now I use two stroke just to help these fouls and stuff move up before it starts. And don't want it too dry. It's been sitting forever. So um, we're going to go ahead now and just try and uh, crank this on. I'm having my face right near that carburetor. choke wide open here so we'll go ahead and try and get this choke working so we can close it probably wondering why I've got my arm in here. These have a pull start little lever up here on the dash but it's not engaging that starter motor properly. So um, I've got to manually do it which is uh, always fun when you got your face right near a carburetor. bit of the fire there. Just trying, it's trying. Um try to give it one more time. I just don't want to get that starter too hot to it'll um burn it out and we've got no spare. So a little bit more. I think it's coming out as quick as I can put it in. It's this. <laughs> That's it for now guys, I think we'll go ahead and pull that um, carby off, um, check the needle and see, have a look inside, it's probably full of crap, uh, it's been sitting for 20 plus years, maybe more since the last ran, I don't really know, just taking a guess, considering we've got uh, all of that, so good chance it'll catch fire before it actually starts, so I'll go ahead, skip to the um, pulling that carby off and cleaning it and um, we'll get it back on there and 
See what happens. Got the carby cleaned, put back on. And come and have a closer look at this. This is high performance here, fellas. Okay, if you want modifications, you do that. They're great. But seriously, we've got a uh, little, little electric fuel pump hooked up, makeshift fuel tank, um, high quality. Got the radiator holding water now. Um, chuck the battery in it. So what we're going to do is wind it over and fire it up again and see if we can get this thing to idle. So uh, here we go. See here we've got needle and seat sticking, you just give it a tap, should free it up. Okay. Here we go again. Come on, baby. One more time. Give it some fuel. Thanks.
there you go. I think that's about moved under its own power in about 15 to 20 years um, it's got a clutch no brakes um, I did hook up the handbrake so if we got to this stage we can actually maybe take it for a putter but um, it's thirsty it likes its fuel it's sucked down probably a liter and a half already so I might have to go and back that mixture screw right off and lean it out a little bit because it seems to be uh, drinking a lot of fuel but um, good result um, so stay tuned and we'll uh, see you soon I'm itching to drive this thing I was going to wait but I think I'm just going to jump right in there take it for a spin and uh, yeah let's do it what could go wrong <laughs> There you have it guys, 1948 Bedford, hasn't run and driven under its own power in roughly between 15 and 20 years, don't have an exact date, but uh, got second gear, um, very fumey and very loud, barely here, but uh, yeah, it, um, it drove alright, no power steering, <laughs> it was heavy and bumpy, but if you'd like to see more about this truck, or see more you know, whether we do brakes, maybe shine on it a little bit, clean up this paint, give it a wash. Um, you know, comment down there in the comment section, subscribe when we upload it on YouTube, that will help a fella out, and uh, hope to see you soon. Thanks for watching.